there, I think, lies the big prize moving forward, understanding the customer better from the information that you have on them. Welcome back to the Banker's Masterclass series entitled Data Deluge, Assets or Liability, in association with Gresham Technologies. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Ian Manocha, CEO of Gresham, which specializes in providing real-time transaction control. In the final chapter of this four-part video series, we'll be looking at how banks can use transaction data to truly understand their customer. Ian, thanks so much for joining Hello us again, today. Joy. Can you tell us a little bit about how investment banks or broker and dealers, how they can use the data that they have more effectively? Um, I, I sometimes feel that in that particular space, institutions spend more time analyzing the performance, for example, of the stocks and the mm -hmm. products that they have in their portfolio and are making available to customers than they do about the customer data itself. And, and there, I think, lies the big prize moving forward understanding the customer better from the information that you have on them. You know, how are banks really challenged to create a complete profile of their, let's say, corporate customers? Well, increasingly the regulations taking them there, you know, in terms of KYC, for example, and anti-money laundering, terrorist financing type legislation. But that's the wrong, it's the wrong reason to be doing this in some ways. Um, so I think building that holistic picture of the customer, their entire relationship, not just with you, but their entire relationship in a much broader sense um, and trying to understand their needs, their buying behaviours, what's driving their performance as a company and of course the individuals that are leading that business um, so that one can be ahead of the game, um, put the right interventions in place, the right offers at the right time. It sounds a little bit glib but I think in corporate banking we haven't in many ways adopted some well-established principles that we have on the retail side of the mm. house and in consumer. Okay, um, but how can you really take, let's say, post-trade analysis and turn it into a pre-trade opportunity? Well, the first thing, of course, is to get the data and make it available, and sometimes we, we, we don't. Um, you know, we, we forget about all of those transactions once they're done and we've settled and we've reported, mm. um, then that's history that's left behind. Mm. Um, so I think building that picture is a, is a really good start point. Um, building that single view of the customer. Um, and then, you know, so the software can do the hard yards now. Um, so, you know, we don't need room full of analysts now to be pouring over that data to say, I wonder where the insights are. Um, but, you know, using the software to do that predictive analytics capability on the same base of trading data that we have used for operational purposes and for regulatory purposes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we see with some of our larger clients. You know, they're, they're using us at massive scale to put integrity into their trading processes. But because we're seeing all of that data fly through, mm -hmm. we can do things with it that they didn't imagine. Okay, but what is the real value in transaction data? Would you say for banks? Well, well the, 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 real, the real value is at two levels. One is, you know, what, what can we see? And the, and the other thing is, what will we never ever see through the human eye? And I think that's where the interest goes. So, you know, what we can see, of course, is we can build up the trends and the pictures about, you know, how they make decisions. Um, but at the transaction level, of course, we're, we're drowning in data. So what we need to do is apply other forms of intelligence to analyze it. Um, and that that's goes beyond simply aggregating the data. Mm. Um, but actually building models about customer behavior. Um, and I think that's where in, you know, in the corporate banking space, in the markets, corporate and investment banking markets, that's where we've spent less time. Mm. But obviously, do you think that's the wave of the future? That's certainly one real critical opportunity, I think. Mm. Um, as I say, it comes back to getting the data fabric right, um, making sure that you know, at the transaction level, every point in the process, whether it's internal to us or external, at every point in the process, the data has integrity and that we are looking at it with an eye that says, can I get business value here mm. above and beyond taking cost out of operations? Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, Ian. Many thanks for joining us for this Bankers Masterclass Series in association with Gresham Technologies.